The month of February, I don't want to spend any money on any activewear. Yeah. My first salmon meal. We're becoming that girl, okay? It is possible to become the girl that you want. You just gotta step out the box, do things that you might be scared of. I was scared of that fish, but baby, I'm obsessed. things are burnt and crispy so I like to leave the kielbasa in the pan as long as possible without burning the pan of course so I had a cappuccino this morning love that in here with the oil that I use it's about 914 calories and only 22 grams of protein it's not the most um, sausage typically doesn't have a whole lot but that's gonna be a good start to my morning I'm probably gonna eat this and then have the itis and want to be lazy especially since it's raining right now but i just thought i would share what i'm having today i am so proud of myself i'm about to head out to do some like active rest today i'll show you guys my gym fit in a second and i had to clean the kitchen because i was cooking and it got grease all over the stove so i wanted to make sure that i Got that up. All right, so we're just doing active rest. Can you see me? So it's not going to be an intense sesh. If you guys watched my last, this should be fine. If you watched my last vlog, y'all, my leg day was insane. I've been doing barbell hip thrust and i feel like a newbie again i feel like i'm really feeling something i've never felt before so i don't want to overwork myself if you guys see smoke i'm burning an incense to get rid of the smell of the kielbasa but i really want to sweat today and i don't know if you guys know but oxy shred makes me sweat it just makes you sweat more in general because it has the fat burner in there but this is like the best pre-workout for me even on an active rest day it's not like too insane where i'm bouncing off the walls and i have like gym anxiety so i'm gonna have the peach rings peach candy rings so good and creatine of course can't skip out on the creatine gains and i really just want to work up an appetite so i can come back home and eat i'm really focused on hitting my calorie goals these days because it's something that i do struggle with and i really want to get crazy results come summertime and with tracking again like it's just so nice to see at the end of the day you accomplish those little goals that end up making the biggest difference i felt like i was in a nude vibe today so i have my biodegradable shaker cup So that's the pre-workout vibes and I don't know if you guys can hear the windows open. It's raining outside so 
I just want to go do what I need to do, come back, shower, and then get some work done for the rest of today. So good. Gym fit today is all interactive. This is the deep taupe color, which is so beautiful. It reminds me a lot of the mocha shade from Alphalete, if you guys are familiar. Just a little bit more rich and not so ashy looking. So these are the biker shorts, or they call them the cycling shorts. Um, these are both in a medium, and then I really wanted to sweat, so I'm going to put on the deep taupe classic lounge hoodie. This is probably in an extra large. Um, actually, I wouldn't know because I tear out all of my tags. It's either in a large or an extra large, so I'm just going to throw this on. Look at the cute fit. Stop. This deserves an outfit photo. Not me coordinating. The white converse on too so cozy but like make it active wear you know what i'm saying so that's the fit for gym i've been loving this time for the gym this is like around the time i went yesterday and it was perfect i literally got to film so much for you guys get all the angles and so far it's been working out i tried to go around like eight nine o'clock absolutely not it's just as bad as like the five to six four or five to six range so i think this might be a better time for me but i guess we'll see when we pull up today if it's still as dead at this point it's not motivation y'all it's definitely discipline because i'd rather stay home to be out here in the cold but i'm gonna put you guys in my bag so you don't get wet i can't <laughs> i you know what i'm proud of myself because we decided to get out the house and not procrastinate on our workout and just do what we need to do so i wanted to take this off for a second but like i was trying to say like girl everyone thinks how do you find motivation to go to the gym how do you stay so motivated what motivates you there's no motivation at some point you're going to lose motivation you're going to feel like okay nothing is making me feel excited today to do what i need to do and show up for myself so i'm just not going to go i'm just going to stay home and i'll probably go work out maybe tomorrow that does not work maybe in the beginning it's so exciting to have a new routine and you get excited about the results that you want for yourself and that will last x amount of time or there'll be days when you have that and that's amazing but it truly is all about discipline and creating those habits and those routines that you begin to stick to that it just becomes second nature to get up and go to the workout today you know like i just know that this is what i need to do so i need to get up and do the work because that's what i need to do you get up and you show up to work so you get paid you can't just say oh i'll go tomorrow because <laughs> you're not going to get paid you're not going to get results if you don't go and do the work and show up for yourself so just try to remember that and just create habits that help you stay accountable and create a time frame i know one of my dolls was commenting on a previous video saying that there's definitely a time slot that she always goes to the gym because it works for her routine and she knows that so she shows up at that same time every day so create a time that fits best for you and your schedule and come prepared y'all get a freaking plan okay so that you know what you're supposed to be doing otherwise you're not going to know and you can't plan so you've just planned to fail so find that discipline baby and oh my god i don't think i charged my headphones i know they were on like 70 percent yesterday oh my god wait a minute this is why we always have backups um yeah anyway tomorrow because i don't want to film today it's gross weather and yeah i'm not trying to be doing the most tomorrow i want to record a video on finding gym confidence so i think that'll be very helpful because you know i've been struggling with that recently so i kind of just want to touch more on the topic and how other girls can find that confidence as well so if that interests you definitely stay tuned 
65%. We only used 5% battery yesterday. These things, I'm telling you, I love them. I'm gonna link them for you guys below. And they still look really good. Wow. Life hack, don't wear these when you have makeup on because they will get stained with makeup. That's how my beats are. But yeah, you can replace these, but why do you want to spend more money? These are already expensive. So these are like my special headphones that I only wear when I don't have makeup on. And then if I have makeup on, the AirPods. The AirPods, I guess. I don't know. The Beats, I thought they were cute, but they're very bulky when I look at them in comparison to these. So... I'm not gonna look like this at the gym. I just you know, wanted to see what it would look like. <laughs> but yeah, it's the rain. I'm procrastinating just chatting with you guys, but I just wanted to catch you guys up on a couple of things and let you guys know some stuff that you can expect to see from me. I think tomorrow I'm gonna pop back in because I'm getting a Gymshark delivery. I just ordered a little something. That's my last time buying activewear, y'all. I can't. I need to be stopped. I think I'm going to challenge myself the month of February. <laughs> Am I playing myself? It is the shortest month of the year. Shout out Black History Month though. Um, the month of February, I don't want to spend any money on any activewear. Yeah. Can we do it? Can we survive? I don't know. I feel like there's going to be a lot of launches, a lot of releases, but that's my issue, you guys, is there's always drops. There's always a brand coming out with something new or a brand coming out with your favorite items and more colors, so you feel like you need to go out and buy it and add it to your collection. At least that's how I feel. Let me know if any of you girlies can relate, and I'm getting so tired of feeling like I need everything. Like, my issue is if there's something that I love, oh, I will get it in every color because I know that I love it and it's worth my money. That's how I ended up in this situation to begin with. So, I don't know. It's definitely going to be a challenge for sure. And I know Alphaly Amplify is having a birthday sale. So, when there's a sale, it's even more tempting because they don't do sales often. But if I can surpass not partaking in that <laughs> I think I deserve a prize at the end you know what I'm saying like I deserve something really nice if I can survive this month without buying any activewear so I just want to let you guys know tomorrow's February 1st I did buy my last activewear order a couple days ago so it's supposed to be delivered tomorrow just so you don't think I'm lying oh it doesn't say the date well it's the 31st of January um yeah Y'all want to join me in this challenge? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I need the discipline. I have the discipline when it comes to working out and showing up for myself, but I need to be a little bit more disciplined about, um, like, needs versus wants because I have no space, y'all. I really don't. I'm running out of space, which is why I've been selling leggings, like Alphalete Amplify leggings that I just don't wear and the material isn't how I prefer it to be, like the OG. So I've been like getting rid of older stuff so I could have space for new stuff, but at this point I just need to stop. <laughs> I need to hit the pause button <laughs> because it's getting out of control. It's really getting out of control, especially when there's literally leggings that I've never ever worn. It's my problem. So I'm literally addicted to activewear and I'm noticing this and we're trying to do better trying to do better but I mean in my defense I literally live in activewear so it's like the normal girl that spends money on I don't know handbags and normal clothes all the time I just don't know we're gonna see how it goes though it's gonna be hard I'm gonna need to like not go on social media <laughs> for a month and unsubscribe from all those newsletters. Oh, I just hope Honor Active doesn't do a restock. Oh, y'all, that would be horrible. That'd be great, but like, bro, that'd be horrible. But I have to also remind myself and remind you guys that there's always going to be new launches of stuff. There's always going to be new collections coming out of whatever brand you know what i'm saying new colors always coming out they're not gonna stop making the thing because people love it you know what i'm saying so that's just like a a mental note for myself that i need to remember 
there's always gonna be more. It's just the hype. I think that's what gets us as consumers. Like, oh my gosh, it's gonna sell out, so I need to buy it now, otherwise I can't get it. Like that whole thing with consumer marketing, I don't like. Like they should just always have that thing in stock, especially if it's a hot commodity. But I digress. I'm going to go see Jim. I'll see you guys when I get there. just wow I just want to go take a hot shower put on sweats <laughs> and eat tell me how I got hit on at Wegmans I didn't know he was lying because I look like a potato I literally was looking like this had my hood up and everything but it's a for effort because I would never have the balls to approach somebody I don't know so I said, you know what, I appreciate you, but I have a boyfriend. He was slick with it though. He was like, you wanna maybe hang out and work out sometime? You know what I'm saying? He threw the workout in there. But anyway, I digress. I'm gonna do a little grocery haul with you guys today. Take this off, I look ridiculous. And between today and tomorrow, I'm gonna share some healthy meal ideas. Y'all, I got so many healthy groceries. In fact, this is probably the healthiest Wegmans run ever. You guys are gonna be so shook when I show you guys some things that I picked up. So I got some bananas that are almost ready to eat. Um, I want to start freezing a lot of them for my protein smoothies, and I don't really have that much right now. Tomatoes, we're going to use that in a recipe. I got some alfalfa sprouts. If this doesn't scream health, <laughs> I don't know what the heck does. So I'm going to use that in a recipe as well. I had to stock up on some earth balance butter, and I got some orange juice. Love that just in the morning. And I definitely needed to stock up on some rice. And I've been in a jasmine white rice phase right now. So got that for the week. I also picked up some Follow Your Heart Parmesan vegan cheese. This is so good on pasta. And I definitely want to make pasta. That sounds so good today because it is so cold, wet, and rainy out. And I also picked up fresh, not frozen which means I plan to eat this today, you guys. Some, yeah, organic broccolini. These are like $4 each, so it's expensive, you guys. Not only that, but it's also organic. I try my best to get organic foods, especially the produce, like these are organic. Tomatoes, bananas. It is more expensive, but it just tastes better. It has like actual flavor. So, got some avocados. I've been in an avocado phase. And I also bought a kombucha today. I got a lot of fun drinks today and I'm definitely gonna do some taste test. I really like the Synergy Guava Goddess. This is just really good for your gut health and your digestion. So we got that. I got some carb options, some organic 
vegan like sourdough i love that they have like a half loaf for people like me that can't eat it all you know what i'm saying i got some bagels this is not my favorite brand however they are dairy free so i got these for the week they smell so good they are blueberry flavored and i could not find my pumpkin seed butter from i think it's called 88 acres is the brand they used to carry their stuff at target i noticed they got rid of that off the shelves my wegmans can't find that on the shelves and i asked a lady and it didn't come up in their like inventory so i went on amazon on the way home and i ordered it and it's supposed to get here in the morning so i like to have pumpkin seed butter on my bagels for extra protein but if i don't have that then um this earth balance really good but sometimes i want something more creamy so love that and i also finally found i bought like almost all of the ones on the shelves you guys i've been looking for the olipop dr pepper because y'all know i love dr pepper it is like that one thing that oof i'll go to chick-fil-a i'll get a large you know what i'm saying but i'm like yo this would be so nice to just have stocked up i almost got all of them but i remembered that a lot of these olipop flavors i did not like especially the cherry cola that was so nasty it tasted like cough syrup so i really hope this is good i kind of panicked and bought a bunch because like i said i just have not been able to find them but it's called dr goodwin you all see the spin we have to try this right now so i'm gonna do a taste test before i shower and you guys i bought some salmon i know you're gonna be like girl what the heck you didn't even buy it fresh i bought it already cooked listen i have never had salmon before so i don't know how to cook salmon and i certainly don't want to buy a whole filet if it's nasty and i've been eating a lot more seafood like yesterday i had tuna you guys saw my what i eat in a day vlog so i want to introduce more lean proteins that are super high in protein so this little piece has 24 grams and it was ten dollars and fifty cents but it's teriyaki flavored and i have more teriyaki sauce if i want to add some more seasoning to it but it has like scallions on here and it's only 280 calories so i felt like this would be good to taste and try it out and if i like it then i can get into making it myself at home and i want it to be that that girl that has salmon you know some broccolini and some rice that just screams like she has her life together she's healthy she's thriving she's unbothered like i'm really trying to be in my healthy girl era so that's kind of what inspired this grocery haul today and i can't wait to prepare this with you guys well you know the rest of the meal and taste it in the vlog once i'm showered so we got that and you guys if you watch my Wegmans hauls, you know that I buy pre-cooked chicken breast. It's like $22, $23 for four pieces. I actually got raw chicken breast. So we are leveling up. We are trying to do better. This was $10.60. So in comparison, that's nice. I am going to just meal prep this whole thing. Um, probably not today because I have a lot of like meals already planned out. But I'm excited to cook after i did my stir fry with you guys like it just it was pretty easy once i got over touching raw meat and having like the bacteria it was just really the juices going everywhere in the bacteria in the sink Ugh, i can't and cutting away the tendons um but chicken breast doesn't have the tendons like the tenders do so we're trying okay it's baby steps and i'm excited i feel really inspired and motivated to switch up the meals that i'm making and trying different things like the salmon and introducing more seafoods into my meals i have shrimp in the freezer as well so i'll probably have that this week for sure and i'm just motivated to really hit those goals and i feel like tracking has really helped me get back into the flow of things because i'm actually seeing what a day looks like for me and i'm seeing my protein and all the calories and my workouts and how that's um being added into the mix so i don't know if i should try the olipop i'm not really like i need to chill i just got back home from the gym and everything so i think i'm gonna shower put this stuff away and then we'll come back and i'll have this with my salmon yeah that sounds like a plan so i'll be right back 
All right, you guys, I am freshly showered, got the all black fit on. I just finished logging everything. It takes me so much longer because I have to manually type everything out. So this meal is coming in at roughly 1,025, 1,025 calories, I'm sorry, and 35 grams of protein. It's so crazy. I just love protein smoothies because I get way more protein out of them. So yeah, this is what we're gonna do. We have broccoli. Let me just bring it over here so you can see. Turn on all my lights. Okie dokes. This is what we have going on. It actually doesn't look too bad. The only thing I really have to prep is to wash and saute the broccolini. It shouldn't take too long because I like it to be pretty crunchy and almost like a lightly charred taste. So this is actually looking really good. I'm low-key super excited. I have high medium hopes that I will become a salmon girly after today's video. So for the broccolini, I'm just going to season it with some black pepper pink salt and maybe some onion salt butters for the rice um avocado oils for the broccolini and then of course we're gonna try our olipop today oh it already says it's washed y'all keep telling me wash it again but i might just rinse it off real quick i'm not even gonna hold you so cooked it for like two minutes and you know seafood can get kind of um dry so hopefully i don't know hopefully it's good <laughs> i might it, it's looking a little dry i'm not gonna hold you i'm probably gonna put some trader joe's seasoning on there my first salmon meal i don't know guys what do we think me acting like i cooked and prepared it but you know what baby steps as long as it looks good, I don't have a problem with trying new things. Me and my healthy girl era. Okay. Okay. So we're going to taste test not one, but two different things today. Don't think I forgot. Something tells me... <coughs> Sorry, I'm choking on something. Um, something tells me I'm going to want more sauce. Or, I don't know. Just so it's not like too fishy. I don't know. I like certain fish. So I like wild caught. I know you're supposed to eat wild caught because man-made fish just is not it. But like Alaska, Alaskan cod or Alaska cod, whatever. I like that. Tilapia, although that's like man-grown fish. So it doesn't, I don't know. It just doesn't taste fishy to me. And then I like tuna as well. So hopefully this isn't too fishy it's just the smell i don't know um i do have the trader what is this trader joe sand what is that i've never seen that before trader joe's sand i don't know it's their teriyaki sauce so i'm gonna try this i'm nervous without it Okay, it's a flaky fish. Y'all are like, girl, it's salmon. <laughs> Stop. I just want to become that girl that eats salmon, you know? So what am I going to do if I don't like it? That's $11. Wait a minute. Um, I think I like it. Sorry for my dogs ruining the first impressions. 
it doesn't have a fishy taste. I think for so long it's been the smell. Because like my stepmom would always have salmon cooking in the house and I was just like, oh, that smell. So I would never eat it. I like it. It's very light and flaky. Me describing salmon. People eat this all the time. It definitely needs a little sauce or something. But Wegmans, they cook this really well. They cooked it really well. I would definitely add this into my um, meals if ever I didn't want to have chicken and stuff. Oh, yeah. This is so good on that. Mmm. Stay tuned to a new vlog where I cook salmon for the first time. <laughs> you guys, I'm excited. Okay, this is a win for me. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. And I was scared. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys keep telling me to get air fryer. Because that's how you guys cook your salmon. Probably not getting that. Don't eat clutter. But maybe in the future. So let's get into the Dr. Goodwin. I really hope this is a 10 out of 10. I really hope. Two for two. We're gonna see. Oh, cheers, you guys. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. I thought the cherry cola tasted like medicine. This, and I bought four of these. Baby, the disrespect to the Dr. Pepper community. This is not good. It has like... I can't describe it like a medicinal aftertaste of cough syrup that's the aftertaste oh I'm so upset I'm gonna just have to allow myself to have Dr. Pepper every once in a while because ain't no way mm -mm. let me try my broccolini it was lightly charred cooked in like three minutes oh my god what time is it oh it's not his dinner time lee eats dinner at three o'clock every night mm-hmm just how i like it a little crunchy mm. i killed this dish y'all can't tell me i didn't yeah I like this for me. For becoming that girl, okay? It is possible to become the girl that you want. You just gotta step out the box, do things that you might be scared of. I was scared of that fish, but baby, I'm obsessed. I'm gonna sit down, enjoy my meal, and try to get that taste of this out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. 